Buongiorno ragazzi, benvenuti e bentornati sul mio canale. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing good. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate you on this channel. I really appreciate your time, your support, your love. Alright guys, so in today's video we are going to be cleaning and this is the kitchen edition okay you guys my kitchen is a total mess a complete mess like it is almost difficult to keep a clean house with children i'm cleaning they are doing their stuff i'm cleaning they are doing their stuff so yes today i decided to tackle this kitchen and i want to carry you guys along with me Alright, before I get started with today's cleaning, I'm going to go ahead and brew my green tea. And as you saw already, I'm using the matcha tea. I'm just going to be sipping on this while I clean, okay? So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please grab your cleaning items and join me. Let's do this together. We are in this together, okay? You are not alone. <laughs> That's why I bring these videos your way, you know, hoping to motivate you, to inspire you, and I hope you get motivated and inspired as well. Alright, as you all can see, my kids are having their breakfast. I woke up this morning and decided to tackle this kitchen because it has tarried for so long, like deep cleaning my kitchen. I wipe down from time to time, I wash dishes, but today I decided to do everything all at once. So what you just saw now is my cleaning mix and in that bottle I have some water, I have white vinegar and uh, liquid soap, dish liquid soap, yeah. Those are the three items I have in that bottle. Mix everything together and there you go, like that thing cleans so well. I've been using that thing for years, that method. I've been using it for years, especially when it comes to my kitchen. I don't really like using products like store-bought products to clean my kitchen, especially my kitchen, you guys. This is where I cook, I bring out food that human beings eat, so I like to be very careful with cleaning products, okay? Alright, so I'm going to start off today's cleaning with the dishes. I'm going to do the dishes by hands. I don't have washing machine, so I'll be doing it by hands. <laughs> I've been doing it for years and I'm used to it, okay? So, um, that tiny brush, I bought it from Amazon. I'm going to try and look for the link and leave it in the description box below. Like, you guys, that thing is a time saver. I use it to wash straws and the straw cups, just like the one you are seeing right there now. And it leaves it sparkling clean. So... I highly recommend you get one for yourself, you know, if you have kids that drink with straw cups or you yourself you are drinking with straw cup or you have straws to wash, that thing comes in really, really handy.
all right so i'm almost done with washing the dishes and i thought i should drink my tea because it has cooled down it was very hot when i made it so i couldn't drink it then but yeah this is me enjoying my tea <laughs> this is just a little me time okay and then i head back to work so what i do when it comes to dishes is i wash and put them in the in the other side of the of the sink let the water drip off and then i pack the dishes back to where they are supposed to be so that's what i'm doing right now Okay, so right now I'm going to be using the hack I saw on the internet. I watched a video on how to do this. So that's what I'm going to do. I've never tried it before. This is my first time. And that is just pouring some water in a bowl, add some white vinegar and then put it in your oven, close it up, turn it on for, for like two to three minutes. Then come back by the time you are back the um the microwave did i say oven before <laughs> i don't know but i'm sorry microwave not oven by the time you are back the microwave should have been soft like all the dry hard um stuff in there must have you know melted down and then it will be easier for you to wipe down so that's what i'm doing and like i said before it is my very first time trying this hack out and i'm going to see how it turns out and as always my baby she's always needing my attention so i had to give her some tiny tiny just a little bit of that attention and then i came back to what i was doing so i'm going to the water in the microwave is done it's done doing its job so i'm going to pour that water in my kettle you know boil it like let it boil and then i will use it to wash the kettle like this one is pure magic you will see how the kettle will look almost brand new like almost new so the hack really worked guys if you haven't tried it try it out you see the the handle of this microwave the door of this microwave those stuff you saw earlier they were very dry but you guys as soon as i was done with this hack everything came off very easily like i didn't even struggle with it oh my goodness where has this hack been all my life it worked i highly think you guys should try it out okay and see how it works now look at my microwave almost as good as new like can you see that very clean all right i'm going to move over to my gas cooker like i'm tired of this gas cooker <laughs> i can't stop cleaning this gas cooker yet every time it looks so dirty like anyways i'm going to try my best to clean as much as i can because you can't you can't clean everything all at once that's that's just what i have to say i'll have to clean as much as i can and leave the rest for another day okay <laughs>
Now look at my kettle. So clean. It has uh, gotten rid of the water stains that was in there. It was so it was so bad before but as you can see now everything is so clear and very neat Alright guys, I'm done with the gas cooker and what you guys are seeing in that pot is some leftover soup. So that's why I didn't wash the pot. It's just a very, you know, tiny soup that is left in that pot and we are going to be using it soon and so I decided to leave it in the pot still. Alright, so this stuff you are seeing right here, I bought it from a store close to us here. I wish I bought it on Amazon or any other online store. I would have, you know, left the link for you guys in the description box below as always. But I bought it from a store here. So <laughs> I don't even know the name. I just saw it. I was shopping. I saw, I came across it and I decided to pick it up. And I'm loving it like I, I wanted to switch out because I've been using that uh, that uh, ceramic is this no that marble plate yeah the one you guys are seeing right now the one the flower is in <laughs> I've been using it for quite a long time and I thought I should switch things out to see how my kitchen will look and to be honest I really really like that thing Alright guys, so um, something happened here as I was, you know, um, cleaning, shifting the table and the chairs, my battery went off and then I had to change 
So after changing the battery, I forgot to hit the record button. This thing happens to me a lot. Like, I don't know why. I forgot to hit the record button. So uh, you guys didn't see when I was uh, wiping the table and uh, dusting the, ch the chairs. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, I've already done that. So I just thought I should let you guys know in case you're wondering. And finally, as always, I'm going to be using my Speak and Span Floor Cleaner. Like, I love the scent of this thing. It smells so good. I love cleaning with it. So, that's what I'm going to be using to mop the floor. And you guys, we are almost done. We are almost there. Just hang in there because we are almost done, okay? But the one final step is to bring in my new kitchen rug. I'm so excited for this rug because I've been using my old one for years. Like, we've been using it right from when we were still living in our old apartment. We came here with it still using it and today I'm finally taking it off. I'm finally getting rid of it and look at this one. It looks so beautiful. I'll show you in a bit, a close-up view. So beautiful. My, my kitchen is so clean. I really did a good job here today. Like, <laughs> I must praise myself. A lizard fell down from the fence or from the tree and looked left and right. Nobody said, oh, well done, well done. Do you know what the lizard did? It started nodding its head like I, I did great. That is a sign that he's praising himself. So if nobody is telling me that I did great in cleaning this kitchen today, I'm telling myself that, okay? <laughs> And so you should be telling yourself all the time, whenever you do something great, something tangible, even if it is the little less thing, the least amount of thing, just tell yourself you did wonderful. And so ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you really enjoyed this video and if you made it up until this point, you are the real MVP. Shop kisses. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I truly, truly appreciate your love, your support for always watching my videos. Thank you and God bless you all for me. Okay. I'm drinking my water because I was very thirsty, like I was so thirsty, so I needed that water. So thank you, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye!